up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and it's another fitness slash eating plan update. Uh, so it's end of week two, uh, so far everything is going well, I am another pound down, there is reasoning behind that that we'll get to. So all in all I'm about five or six pounds down from when I started a couple of weeks ago which is really good progression. To lose like two and a half to three kilos in a couple of weeks is good. But as we know, it's it's easy to lose the fat at the start. It's about keeping on going and maintaining it. So I'm only a couple of weeks in. Um, the reason I say that I only lost a pound and I'm not absolutely depressed about that is because I completely changed up as a mini experiment my exercise for the week. So from, I'd say, the age of 30, this is not an excuse, but from the age of 30, I would say, even though I exercise four, five, six times a week, weight training, running, um, football, whatever, 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 cycling, whatever sport it is or whatever activity I'm doing, I do it fairly regularly, including a commute to work. So I always kind of maintained my weight. I never really lost any when I hit 30, and that's age, metabolism, body type. There's lots of things that goes into it. But what I wanted to see was, okay, so I'm not exercising as much, and I know what happens when I don't exercise as much, and I was eating my previous diet, that's how you get up to 230 pounds, like I was. Um, so what I wanted to do was, okay, not exercise, to an extent, so I've done a three mile run one day, a two mile run the other, and some walks obviously in between. For me that is not, that's not regular exercise, that's like two active days is the least I've done in, I don't know how long. Two active days doesn't count as exercise in my book, for my body. So what I wanted to do is just focus on nutrition, sticking to the muscle foods, summer slumming food plan. Can I maintain my weight? How much weight will I put on? So to give you context, if I ate my previous diet, which was still only two and a half thousand calories, but it was two and a half thousand bad calories, and didn't do much exercise, I'd probably gain between one and two pounds per week. That's just the, the, the curve that I was on. But as I mentioned, I've lost a pound this week without doing the exercise, but maintaining the nutrition aspect. So for all those out there that are in their 30s or 40s and feel like they're not getting anywhere, they, they work out, you run, you do all this, it just shows how vital, and I'm probably the last to join the party here, but it shows how vital nutrition actually is. And I've never really, it's never really dawned on me, it's never stuck with me, but it's really resonating now to still see results. And the big part of my whole philosophy and ethos and exercise is obviously physical fitness but it's mental health for me as well I think it just makes me feel better um, as it does everyone the endorphins get flowing you just feel better everything's a bit more positive outlook after you've done some exercise so in the past I'd feel really down I've had sort of slight depression I'd say in the past if I don't exercise for like longer period of times and again longer period of time for me is like not exercising in a week or even a few days, then I started to feel down. Whereas this week, no guilt, nothing, um, feel good. And again, I attribute that to a healthy balanced diet. Mm. So yeah, if you're younger and you're watching this, I'm just gonna look like some old overweight guy preaching what everybody else is telling you you're not gonna listen, but trust me, it makes such a difference. I was, kind of blessed I guess in the early days where I could eat whatever I wanted but I trained so much that I still maintained a fairly good body, good physique but as you get older you lose that so if you have the ethos in your head before you start like losing the metabolism benefits so in your early 20s if you have that diet nailed down in your nutrition I think that's going to make such a big difference obviously going forward because for me it was a tough transition particularly week one um, but again week two feel great started week three uh, and with the muscle foods plan muscle food food plan I'm not actually restricting much as much as I've got a, like a 800 to 1000 calorie deficit per day. I don't notice. I start the day off some days with pancakes, two pancakes. I have rice instead of bread as part of carbs. It's just including all the vegetables. And if I snack, then I'm snacking on a protein bar again that is all provided by Muscle Food. 
So uh, at no point am I starving. Um, I have cut out soda. Soda. I'm high American. Bum, bum, bum. I have cut out Coca-Cola fizzy juice um, because there is nobody on the planet that will tell you that even um, small portions of that can be good for you. It's just not. So I've, I've cut it out and I think that makes a difference. So yeah, um, that's kind of just a really quick update this week. Things are progressing well. I'll get back to a bit of a longer one, some maybe pictures if people want to see that. But I do plan on exercising a fair bit this week in preparation for the gyms opening up in Bonnie, Scotland. I know all you English viewers out there and the people that I am friends with in the Muscle Foods group or been part of the Muscle Foods Facebook group, I can see you all posting your training pics and I'm very jealous um, of those when I see them, but it's my turn. As of Monday, the 26th of April, I will be training as often as I can again in the gym while sticking to the nutrition plan that I'm on for at least the next nine weeks. So thank you very much for watching again and I'll be back again next week with an update. Take care.